Assalamu alaikum. This is Rayan Arab again recording for the daily reminder. Many of us want something so bad, but we don't know how to get it. Or we tried so hard to get it, but we didn't see any results, so the next thing we did is we gave up. Many of us try to get the things that we want, but when we don't see any results, the next thing we do is we give up. Example, Abdullah and Ahmed, they both want success or they both want to achieve something in life. So they both worked really hard for this. Abdullah doesn't see any results, so he gives up. Ahmed doesn't see any results, but he continues. One month later, Abdullah comes to Ahmed and he asks him, did you achieve anything in life? Ahmed says, oh yes I did. I have everything I ever asked for. Abdullah cries, why did I give up? <laughs> Allah Azza wa Jal gave us the ability to have whatever we want. With the way we think, with the way we talk, with the way we walk, with the, by the way we move, by the way we live this life, and by the way we present this deen. You my friend, you can have whatever you want. You my brother, you my sister, you can have anything you want. Remember, Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَابْتَغِي فِيمَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةِ وَلَا تَنْسَ نَصِيبَكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا And seek with what you have the home of the hereafter and don't forget your portion of this dunya. We all want something, all of us. But what he wants is different than what he wants. And what she wants is different than what she wants. And what the Muslim wants is different than what the Kafir wants. The Kafir wants the dunya, the Muslim wants the akhirah. Well, some Muslims want the dunya. And some want the akhirah, and some want both. The dunya and the akhirah. And guess what? You can have this dunya without losing an inch of the akhirah. But with what? How is that possible? With something called a zuhd, asceticism. And this is to show more eagerness for the next life more than you show for this life. A zuhd example. You have a million dollars. If it increases to two million, you don't get happy. And if it decreases to zero, you don't get sad. A zuhd. If you have a lot of money, you don't get happy. And if it goes up, you don't get happy. And if it goes down, you don't get sad. That is a zuhd. Why? Because you detach yourself from the dunya and you are attached to the akhirah. Because this dunya, you see, if you attach yourself to it, it runs away from you. Like Tom and Jerry. If you attach yourself to this dunya, you are Tom and the dunya is Jerry. It runs away from you. But if you detach yourself from this dunya, you are, you are Jerry and the dunya is Tom. It chases you. It comes after you. It wants you. With a zuhd, my friend, you can have whatever you want. Like Umar bin Abdul Aziz. We all know Umar bin Abdul Aziz, do we? Umar bin Abdul Aziz, a wonderful man, a man who brought generosity to this earth, a wise man. Umar bin Abdul Aziz, at his time, he sent his assistant. Uh, before he was a khalifa, before he was a ruler, he sent his assistant to go buy him a thobe from the souk. His assistant went and he bought him a thobe for 500 dirhams. He came back, he gave the thobe to Umar. Umar saw the thobe and he said, it's nice. But why is it so cheap? Why is it so cheap? Many years later, Umar bin Abd Aziz became a Khalifa. He sent his assistant again to go buy him a thobe. The assistant went to buy him a thobe, but this time for only five dirhams. He came back, he gave the thobe to Umar. Umar saw the thobe and he said, why is it so expensive? <laughs> you see the difference? Before he was a ruler, the thobe was really expensive, but he saw it as cheap. After he became a ruler, the thobe was very cheap and he still saw it as expensive. His friend, the assistant, he cried. He cried. He couldn't, he couldn't stand this. Umar asked him, why are you crying? He said, because I remember before you were a ruler, you used to send me to buy a thobe for 500 dirhams and you would ask me, why is it so cheap? And now you send me to buy a thobe for only 5 dirhams and you ask me, why is it so expensive? Umar said, Ya Raja, inna li nafs tawaqa, O Raja. I have an eager self and eager nafs. And there is nothing that I was eager about having except that my nafs wanted more of it. I was eager to get married to my cousin Fatima. Umar bin Abdaziz is saying this. I was eager to get married to my cousin Fatima and I got married to her. Then I was eager to become Khalifa and I became. And now Raja, I am eager to enter paradise and I hope, I hope I get what I want. You my brother, you can have whatever you want. Just like Umar bin Abdul Aziz, he got whatever he wants with a zuhd, with asceticism. With asceticism, you can have anything from this dunya and the akhra, both the dunya and the akhra. By detaching yourself from the dunya, you get the dunya and the akhra, both. Finally, try being like a dolphin. The dolphin in the ocean, it swims, it shares, it cares, it loves, it's friendly, 
And above all of this, nothing stops it from having whatever it wants. You can have whatever you want, but if you doubt that you can, then you never can, even if you really can. Remember, وَابْتَغِي فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ الدَّارَ الْآخِرَةِ وَلَا تَنْسَ نَصِيبَكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا And seek with what you have the home of the hereafter and don't forget your portion of this dunya. جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا وَصَلِّ اللَّهُمْ عَلَى مُحَمَّدْ Thank you for listening. Sharing is caring. Share this video. Perhaps you can change somebody's life today. جَزَاكُمُ اللَّهُ خَيْرًا And stay tuned for more. Assalamu alaikum.